the men with their flying machines the sight of an airplane and the first thought that comes to mind is the right brothers they literally gave wings to man to go into the sky but not without their own shares of troubles and disappointments we shall now look at their journey and their attempts at flying on december 17 1903 they made their first flight coming from a non engineering background with little or no idea of aviation was no mean feat here are some infecting facts about the right brothers it is said that they tossed a coin to decide who would fly first their love for airplanes was triggered by a toy which their father tossed at them and watching it fly and hit the ceiling and fall to the ground led to their passion and discovery of airplanes they took small steps at a time and took turns at navigating the gliding bird slowly increasing the distance covered both brothers had not completed the high school diploma as a result of their family's relocation with no formal education they tried their hands at several jobs from running a newspaper to a bicycle repairing unit it was the latter which financed their aviation aspirations the brothers flew together only once and they never married they took their father on the flight and he was as excited as a child His fear of losing both sons got him to make sure they never flew together. The right flyer as their first plane was called flew four times on December 17th, 1903, but after that it never flew as a gush of wind ruined the plane completely. Orville Wright was involved in the first fatal aviation accident which left him incapacitated for life. It is said that Neil Armstrong carried a piece of the right flyer on his trip to the moon. The Smithsonian Air and Space Museum tried to usurp the invention but retracted years later and right flyer was handed over to them. All said and done every time we travel by air we owe this comfort to the two brothers who dedicated their lives for the cause of aviation.